Liberty and freedom of movement is what protesters in several cities in Guinea are demanding. Angry at coronavirus lockdown measures restricting them from travelling in and out of the capital Conakry to earn a living. They blocked roads and set fire to police vehicles at several checkpoints built to try and contain the spread of COVID-19. For the protesters, no work means no food. We're fed up with this lockdown. The government has abandoned us, they've killed five of our friends, but we will continue to protest until they open up the roads again. Security forces responded to the violence on Tuesday by firing at the protesters. At least six people were killed across three towns near the capital, Conakry. When the madness started, I left the protest. When I arrived home, I got a call telling me my brother's been shot. and went straight to the hospital, but he was already dead. Guinea is one of the worst hit countries by the virus in West Africa. The government says the emergency measures are necessary. Protesters, though, accuse police of mistreating them and demanding bribes to let them through the checkpoints. We're tired of the government. We're suffering. It has no interest in its people and the checkpoints are causing too much traffic. We're stuck. Dealing with another disease is proving difficult following the Ebola outbreak which killed two and a half thousand people a few years ago. Doctors fear the poor health system, limited testing and a lack of sanitation will cause COVID-19 to spread fast. To try and stop that happening, the government continues to extend a nationwide state of emergency. Human Rights Watch accuses the government of using it as an excuse to violently crack down on opposition party members and protesters. The number of coronavirus cases has steadily increased since March. Despite that, protesters say they'll continue to speak out against the closures, curfew and checkpoints. Sarah Khairat, Al Jazeera.